Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville dismissed the idea that the nation's top military officials are working too many hours as a result of his blocking of hundreds of Defense Department nominees. The Alabama lawmaker has held up more than 350 nominees over the Pentagon's policy on abortion, which came under increased scrutiny this week when a top Marine, General Eric Smith, suffered a heart attack. General Smith had been filling two of the Marine Corps' top posts for months due to Tuberville's holds. And it said in recent weeks, the hours he worked were, quote, not a sustainable thing. Well, Senator Tuberville, with confronted with that information, shrugged off the concerns that his hold was making it difficult for military leaders just to do their jobs. Instead, seemed to draw comparisons about the workload of military leaders to his time coaching football. These are Republicans doing multiple jobs. Some of these military personnel, even Corps I was doing two jobs. Why, why aren't you? Marine Corps probably, probably got 2,000 people to work for him, okay? So, uh, and as somebody said he's working 18 hours a day. Jack Reed blamed me for his heart attack. Come on, give me a break. This guy's going to work 18, 20 hours a day no matter what. That's what we do. You know, I did that for years because you got to get the job done and you take it for, you try to do everything yourself. So, uh, we're not going to go down that road. So, Joe, Senator Tumerville comparing his late nights in the film room preparing for LSU to a it's military just, leader uh, carrying out the up. duties of protecting the country. Also, we have to point out again, it was two days ago that his fellow Republican senators that the dam broke on all this and they spilled into public and said, stop what you're doing. They made the case to him, but he's totally yeah. unfazed and totally glib about it right there. It really is unbelievable, Willie, and, and, and you are right. Republicans, especially Republicans who have actually served in the military, were just yes. embittered at, at what he is doing uh, to America's readiness. And they, they are saying it's attacking America's readiness. It is Republican senators who are saying that Pre President Xi is cheering this in China. This helps the communist Chinese. This helps Vladimir Putin and Russia. This helps North Korea. And... I'm not saying it. Republicans, Republican senators who most importantly fought uh, in, in Iraq and Afghanistan are the ones saying it. And uh, it, it's really extraordinary that the, the, the ignorance, the complete and total ignorance that that Tommy Tuberville has uh, about the United States military, about what they do. Uh, about this country's history. He, he, he showed that from the very beginning, right after he got elected. Uh, very confused about just basic facts about World War II, basic facts about the United States military. But how deeply offensive that this, this guy would compare himself looking at game film and, and drawing out X's and O's on the board to try to beat Mississippi State or some other Southeastern Conference football team on a Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, to compare that with the Marine Commandant who literally has in his or her hands uh, the lives of thousands and thousands of, of young men and women who have put their lives on hold to defend the United States of America. Uh, Willie, it's just, it's so extraordinarily offensive. It's so deeply offensive that we have this guy. I, I, I want to use another word. I'm not going to use it this morning. But we have this guy who is, is so ignorant that, that he really does believe that what he did at Auburn was just as stressful as what a general running the United States Marines has to do every day, has to worry about every day. It's, uh, you know, Tuberville's thinking, let's see, do, do, do I rush four or five in this situation? The Marine Commandant's thinking, how do I balance what's going on in the Middle East with what's going on in Central Europe, with what's going on in China? What do we do?
if 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 the Chinese, what are we going to be called to do if the Chinese invade Taiwan and threaten a third world war? What do we do if Iran comes in and we're asked to go in uh, and 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 protect American uh, you know interests in the Middle East? At the same time, we have to keep our eyes on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It's just, again. It's the, the ignorance is extraordinary. And I'll, t I'll tell you who's the angriest at this. It's the Republican senators that serve with him, that see him every day, that have to deal with him. Uh, and, and, and a guy that's that ignorant and more than ignorant, contemptuous of the service our men and women in uniform do for all of us, do for our country, uh, do for all Americans every day of their life.